recording and Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. 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 Can you hear me? Good job. Can you hear me, everyone? Hello, good evening. How are you guys? Hello. Hello, how are you? Welcome, Jessica, Jensi, Catherine, Hello. Marvin. Hello, Jessica Esmeralda. Hello, how are you this Hello. morning? Hello. How are you guys? How do you feel today? Angelica, Sandra, we have Joaquin, Marvin, Veronica. Hola, hola. Hello, hello. Welcome to the class one more time. How was the day? ¿Qué tal ha estado el día? Very good. Very good, yes. With a lot of activities. Con muchas actividades. Yes. Yes, yes. As always, right? Every day. <laughs> okay. Remember that yesterday we were with some demonstratives. So let's see, we are going to formulate some questions. You were in the platform, right? Llegaron a la plataforma, es esta parte? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes? Okay, so let's yes. check here. What are this? Sí, creo que pasamos a esta parte. ¿Sorry? Creo que pasamos a esta parte o aún no. Eh, in the platform? ¿En la plataforma? ¿Está bien? Mm -hmm. sí, sí. sí, sí. ¿Hicieron el sí. ejercicio? Sí. Ok, let's practice it. Let's practice, like, for example, this one in the cell phone. What's this? Cell phone. Excellent. Sí, so you can la it's a cell phone. That's good. What is it? Or what's this? It's a, it's CD, a play. CD player. It's a CD player. Oh, Very good. Marvin, what's this? Watch. Uh -huh, correct. Complete. It's a watch. It's a watch. It's a watch. That's correct. Good one. Okay, let's see. Joaquin, what are these? Thanks. Thanks. Keys. 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 Their keys. Their keys. That's correct. Yeah, remember that the singular is different than the plural, right? Say their, son, llave, their keys. What about this one? What are they? Santa Marisol, what are these? Their kids, their glasses. Okay. Their glasses, right? In a specific sunglasses. Very good. Okay. What about this one? What are these? Veronica, what are these? Um, back. Their? That's yes, good. Yes, their bags. Correct. Okay. Now, let's remember this as a review. Como un repaso. Let's review this. Let's practice this or is that. For example, here you have a calculator. We can formulate a question. Remember the yes, no questions? Recuerdan las yes, no questions from the verb to be? Is this a structure? Like this, it says, is that your calculator? If it's affirmative, what's the answer? Yes. 
Yes. What is? Is that your calculator? Yes. Yes. It's singular. Remember, it's singular, this part. Yes. Yes. What else? ¿Con qué más complementamos? Pues, pues, nos falta el sujeto. Yes, uh, it, it is. Excellent, perfect. Yes, it is. Very good. Yes, it is. What about this one? It says, is this your backpack? Jensi, Jensi, Alexandra, how do you answer here? Is this your backpack? Suppose that is negative. Supongamos que es negativo. Not it is. No, it isn't. It isn't, uh-huh. That's correct. Good. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. So we have the case of affirmative and the negative form. And this is singular or plural? Singular. singular. It's singular. Perfect. Now, that is uh, far or near? Far. Is far perfect? What about this? Is far or near? Yeah, near. It's near. Very good. Nice. Now we have here the plural, the plural form. Are these stones pencil? Jessica. You have this one, right? Repeat it, please. Eh, no, pencils, that means lapises. Lapi, lapis. Uh -huh. En el caso de lapicero sería solo pen. Pens, uh -huh, pen. Uh -huh, pen, right. <coughs> Jessica, repeat. Are these Tom's pencils? Are these Tom's pencils? That's good. Read the affirmative, please. Yes. Yes, they are. Excellent. Negative? No, they are. Eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Me podría... Aren't. 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 Yeah, no, they good. aren't. Okay. That's right. Very good. Okay. The next part. Let's see. Kevin. Kevin Orlando. Kevin? Is, uh, Nacho. Uh, Mike, uh, Mike's. Is that Mike's desk? Is that Mike's desk? Nice. Uh -huh. The answer. Affirmative? Yes. It is. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It is. It is. That's good. Nice. In the negative? Not it. it not it. Not it. And. Isn't. And isn't. Isn't. That's good. No, it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. That's correct. Okay. Now let's check here. In the case of are this Tom's pencil, this is singular or plural? Plural. plural. It's plural. plural. Perfect. That's good. And we have affirmative and the negative. Now here, is that my desk? Singular or plural? Singular. It's singular. Perfect. Mm. That's good. Okay. Acá porque utilizamos it. Pues porque nos referimos a una cosa, ¿verdad? No podemos utilizar he, si no nos referimos a una persona. Questions. Do you have questions with this? No questions? Let's do another exercise. All right. We have this practice. We are going to complete the question. Remember that this one is a yes, no question. Una, en una yes, no question, que lleva verb to be, recordemos que primero va a ir el verb be, ya sea is, are, or am. En este caso, como es de una cosa, solo eh, una, utilizaríamos el verb to be conjugado como is. So, is this your, el que va cruzado, no es el que corresponde. Eso sería el otro elemento. So, how do you answer? Miguel, Miguel Antonio, how do you complete? Is this your calculator? Excellent. That's perfect. That's good. Is this your calculator? Okay. Let's see. Um, right. Okay. So. 
Calculator. And there we have the question. This is singular or plural? Singular. Singular, singular. perfect. Is near or far? New. Near, perfect, that's good. Okay, what about the next one? I have a question. Yes, tell me. Dígame. Es que Dígame. Se me cortó el, este, porque se me fue el internet. Entonces, ¿qué significa near y la otra palabra que estaba diciendo? Near. Far. Near. Ajá, el far. Do you remember what is near? Near es cerca y far es lejos. Thank you. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That's correct. And yes, that's why yesterday we put this, this example about this. For example, here. In the case of the apple, this is an apple. Same here, say, near, because it has short distance, very short distance. Possibly you can touch it. But in the case of far, it has a long distance. Tiene una distancia oh. larga. No necesariamente tan larga como les mencionaba, pero a manera que no la puedo tocar. So it's that, solo para señalarlo. Far away. Far away, Gracias. like in Shrek. <laughs> You're very welcome. Do you remember uh, the Shrek Shrek movie? You remember Shrek movie that it says far, far away. Yes. <laughs> so that is muy, muy lejano. Muy lejos. Sí. <laughs> más emphasis, right? You put more emphasis in that. So let's check the next one. We were here. Okay. This one. Jessica, Jessica Esmeralda. Complete this one, please. Are this your? Uh -huh. Are this your? Pero dijo Jessica Esmeralda. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica? Se escucha. Jessica Esmeralda. No se escucha bien, quizás, Jessica. Ok, Jensi, Jensi, Alexandra. ¿Cuál es el complement? Me escucha. Yes, I can hear you. Sería partir yo. Eraser. Erasers, yes, that's correct. Good, let's write it. Are these your erasers? Now, this one is plural or is singular? Um, plural. Is plural perfect? That is correct. Is a short distance or a long distance? Near or far? Um, yes, they are. The answer? Uh -huh. yes, uh, yes. The, the answer is yes, they are, right? And is mm -hmm. far or near? They are. Is this? The answer? This? In the case of this, it's Excuse referring me? to, uh, in the case of this, it's referring to far or near? Yes, yeah. it's near, right? Yes. So this one is the, yeah. the plural form of this. Tiene una pequeña diferencia en la pronunciación. Este de acá se pronuncia más rápido, say this. Y este de acá se dilata yeah. un poquito más. So this, yeah. this, your erasers. Yeah. Correct. So we have singular and plural. We have yeah. short distance and also we have long distance. Any question? Preguntas? No questions? Okay, let's continue with the next. This is about WH. We have WH questions. In the WH questions, we can have different combinations. It depends on what you want to investigate. For example, when you investigate what? What do you mean with what? Okay. 
was your name? name? Or, or cuál? Ajá, like, what's your name? What's your name? What time is it? Okay. What time is it? What is your favorite color? Correct, yes. What's your name? What is your favorite food? So you investigate that. Then we have who. When we use who? Quién. Quién. Excellent. You investigate person. Very good. Why? Por qué. Por qué. You investigate Por qué reason. Me exactly. Yes, because in an answer is because, right? It's very different. The context is yeah. different. What about how? Como. Como. Exactly. Investigates the manner. Like, how are you? How do you spell your name? Yes. Hicimos una práctica de how do you spell your name, right? Remember? Yeah. To practice the alphabet. Yeah. Where? Donde. Perfect. Investigate places, areas. Which? Qual. Qual. This is a specific thing. Which? Siempre me he confundido en ese. <laughs> With which? Sí. With which and what? What? No, uh -huh. el which more, en, yes. el que significa también por qué. Which, oh, why? This, why, is why, why? why? this is why. Why? This is why. Like reason. Because, because why? es cuando uno va a responder. Ajá, yo tenía, yo tenía esa duda porque para, o sea, para expresarse por qué, o sea, existen los dos para diferentes situaciones porque como está why yes. y está because. Exactly. Why is for the question. You investigate. And because is the answer. It's like in Spanish. Bueno, en español es, los contextos también son diferentes, pero igual, en la escritura es diferente. De ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? Pero en inglés totalmente cambia. Yo, yo no sé si estoy equivocado, pero yo he escuchado de que el because es como que es, es la contraparte del why, que es para responder a la respuesta, a la, no, perdón. To a why question. Ajá, es responder a la pregunta que, que le han hecho con el why. Perfect. Y yes. uno contesta con el because. That is correct. Yes. Es que me pasó, me pasó, estaba en una conversación, o sea, por chat, ¿verdad? Y yo le contesté así como be, el because, entonces, y me dice, así no es, entonces es why. Y yo, y yo me quedé así, entonces por eso quedé con esa duda. Because it's a question. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Cuando es una pregunta, entonces sí tiene que ir el why, porque usted investiga. No, pero sí era una respuesta la que yo le estaba dando. It was an answer and then it was because. Mm, bueno. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo era la pregunta? ¿Do you remember? ¿Te recuerdo? No, 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 I don't remember. <risa> <risa> sí, porque habría que ver también el contexto. Lick, porque hay unas estructuras que sí la llevan. Lick, una pregunta. Sí. Pero no, nunca se puede, en ningún caso se puede contestar a una pregunta, ¿verdad? Contestarlo con el why. Sí, siempre tiene que ser con el because. Porque está dando, usted está dando una respuesta. Siempre va because. Ok. Pero hay otras estructuras en las que puede llevar why, pero no como una pregunta. Por ejemplo, cuando uno dice eh, that, that is why eh, I am sleepy. Por eso es que estoy eh, o tengo sueño. That is why I am sleepy. It's like here. Okay. That is why. That is why. I am sleepy. Sleepy. Pero esta ya lleva otra estructura y no es una pregunta. No que lo utilizamos como un conector. Ajá. Uh -huh. Por esa y aquí significa esa es la razón por la cual me siento adormitado. Y no es una pregunta. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero cuando es una ¿Cómo, pregunta. ¿cómo, ¿Cómo dice ahí? Me dijo en español. ¿Cómo dice? Esa es la razón por la cual me siento adormitado o tengo sueño. Eso es lo difícil del inglés, ¿verdad? Lo que pasa es, es que... que el contexto, bueno, exacto. Ajá, pero esas estructuras las vamos a ir viendo también más adelante. Ahorita, con el why, cuando usted eh, es una pregunta, va a ir al inicio. Esta va a ir al inicio. Por ejemplo, de hace... Siempre tiene que ir al inicio. Cuando es una pregunta... Mm -hmm. Why, eh, if they ask you, why are you happy? ¿Por qué estás feliz? Why are you happy today? I am happy today because eh, I bought a new car. Because I have a car. Car. Ajá, that's correct. So that you investigate something. Todo depende del contexto. 
So we have different manners, right? With which is a specific thing. With when. Which, which dijo que era cual. Cual, correct. Okay. When, what about when? When we use when? What is it? Cuando. It's about time. Cuando. Cuando. Perfect. Investiga algo de, de tiempo. Let's check here. So we have questions here. And these ones are... These are questions with where plus P. For example, where's the book? Look at that here. We uh, have a contraction. Tenemos una contracción. Recordemos que la contracción con el verb to be va a llevar apóstrofe es, sí, es singular, ¿verdad? Una, singular. una, una, pre, una pregunta, licenciada. Yes. En, en, ese, en ese literal de la cual estamos hablando, en la A, el, esa es una contracción de dónde está el libro, dice, ¿verdad? Exacto. Ah, pero, pero este, digamos de que Está así porque está contratado, pero si no estuviera contratado, el público hubiera llegado antes de where. Uh, no, no, it's like this. Where pues is. Como hay pregunta. Ajá, uh -huh, it's a question. But it's at the beginning, siempre va al inicio. Lo que me va a cambiar aquí es que yo voy a escribir el verb to be de manera completa. Ese apóstrofe es, es el verb to be, pero de ah, manera okay. contractada. Puede okay. ir unida a la WH. Todas las WH questions investigan algo específico, dependiendo de cuál sea, como las que mencionábamos, ¿verdad? What, when, why, who, which. Entonces, de manera completa es where is the book. Si usted quiere hablar de manera más fluida, también se puede hacer. Where's the book? Y es más fácil, ¿ves? Where's the book? And B, it's on the chair. So that on, we have a preposition. Hay una preposición on. acá. On. What is on? Sobre. Excellent. That's perfect. It's on the chair. Look, here we have another contraction. In this other contraction, it's like this. It's. Mama, mire. Okay, so this is complete. The verb to be here is a complete manner. You write the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. But here it's a contraction. It's correct to use like that. Yes? Yes. You got it? You understand it? You comprend it? Yes. Yes? yes. Okay. Now let's check here. Now we have another question. Where is the money? Tell me, where is the money? In my wallet, no. Oh, <laughs> not in my wallet either. In my okay. wallet, no. <laughs> it's, a story. it's a sad story. Imagine that it's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. How would you respond? Give me the answer. Miguel, what answer will it be? Where is the money? It is, it is in the wallet. It is? Amor, ahí se va a caer, pásese para este lado. It's other in. In the wallet. Perfect, that's correct. Look, here we have another one. Where is the money? Look, here we have a difference between on and in. We have two different prepositions. The preposition in means that it's an internal place. Let's say that you have a bag and you put it in. The Dentro de. Excellent. In the box, in my pockets, in the backpack. But the backpack. on, that means sobre, sobre una superficie plana. On the table, on the floor can be also. On the grass, sobre el cesta, on the grass. On the wall, sobre la pared. O sea, no puede ser en, dentro es de la pared. Es como más para, para sobre. On, on. Uh, on, on sí. Porque es sobre superficies planas. En cambio, in es allá algo interno. In the bag, in my backpack, in my pocket, in the wallet. Oh. Like here. What about where are the keys? 
Where are the keys? Brenda, Brenda Quintanilla, where are the keys? Teacher, fíjese que yo acabo de entrar porque no podía entrar a la plataforma. Ah, okay. Usted es la que estaba mandando mensajes. Sí, disculpe. <risa> ok. <risa> ok. So, where, this one is the, the demonstratives, right? Carlos, how do you answer? Where are the keys? Is the... On the table. Ah, that's good. So, how do you respond? This is singular or plural? Singular. Mi amor, ahorita no le puedo poner atención. Um, Estoy en plural. clase. Is plural case, that's correct. So we're going to respond it. So is it's on the table it's, it, or it's there? It's on it's or there? It's on the there table. on the table. There, right? Because it's plural. It's plural. So they, you can say they are, or also can say there as a concept. Tiene que tomar mucha agua, Olga. Hoy creo que no tomo tanta agua. Y eso te tiene, se debe a que no toma agua. Compañera, mi micrófono. The microphone, please. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we have, they are on the table. We have the plural case. Remember that here you can make a contraction. How will be the contraction? ¿Cómo sería la contracción acá de they are? They are. They are, perfect. That is correct. Good. Okay. Any question? Question with this? No questions? No. All right. Then let's check here. Let's check here in the platform. Okay, this one is to check about the bird to be, but when we use it with this and this, and then we have the complements. Me ayudan con el micrófono, porfa. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form yes, no. Can you hear it? ¿Se escucha? Yes. 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 Okay, perfect. And where questions would be. We'll start by listening to a quick audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no, where are my car keys? Relax, Kate. Are they in your purse? No, they're not. They're gone. I bet they're on the table in the restaurant. Excuse me, are these your keys? Yes, they are. Thank you. See? No problem. And is this your wallet? Hmm, no, it's not. Where is your wallet, Joe? In my pocket. Wait a minute. That is my wallet. Let's try to make sense of the chart that you see on the screen. In order to form yes or no questions, we're going to follow the next formula. Verb to be plus this, or in this case could be these, plus some kind of complement. So, verb to be plus subject plus complement. In this case, we want to say that the subject is uh, this or these. So, let's try to make some examples. As you can see on the screen, the example is this your wallet. We have the verb to be. In this case, happens to be is. And then we're going to use this. The complement in this case is your wallet. And then, of course, we put a question mark there. Um, the other example that you see on the screen are these your keys? Uh, we have a verb to be, 
these your keys and of course we put a question mark at the end let me give a couple of more examples is this your cell phone question mark at the end are these your things in order to answer this type of questions you're typically going to answer with yes it is no it's not if it's plural for example yes they are no they're not now that we understand yes or no questions with B let's explore WH questions with B we're going to follow a similar rule for WH questions let me go ahead and put that on the screen WH word plus verb to be plus subject plus complement the rule is very simple and it's quite similar as making yes or no questions the only difference is that now we are adding a WH word so what are WH words let me explain we use WH words to get information from others for example who what when where how why are some examples of WH words now let's put that rule into practice if we look at um, the example on the chart right we can see the question towards the right hand side it says where is your wallet so if we follow that rule we're going to put a WH word plus the verb to be plus some kind of complement wallet and of course we put a question mark there where is your wallet where are my keys how are you today why are you hungry where is the police station to answer WH questions you now need to give information for example for the question where is your wallet notice that the answer is it's in my pocket and also all those questions that you heard on the conversation a few minutes ago now is your turn to make as many examples as possible practice making yes or no questions and WH questions you should answer those questions as well the more you practice the easier this topic will become for you Sorry, the microphone. We put emphasis today about where, the where question with the verb to be. So in this, let's ask some other questions. For example, if I ask Veronica, Veronica, where is your cell phone? Where is your cell phone? It's? It is uh -huh. on the desk. On the desk. Very good job. Nice. Okay. Now, Veronica, you're going to ask another question to Jessica. Ahora usted pregúntele, Jessica, where is your, y cualquier objeto de los que ya estudiamos, where is the money, where is your backpack, your cell phone, computer? Where is your wallet? Where is your wallet? Jessica? A cual de todas las Jessicas? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I forgot I have like three Jessicas. <laughs> Jessica Hernandez, sorry. 
Jessica Hernández. Okay, then Jessica Vanessa, answer it, please. Repeat the question, please. Question? Okay. Veronica, can you repeat it, please? Your wallet. Mm -hmm. Thank you. My wallet. Mm -hmm. It It is in my backpack. In my backpack, excellent, that's good. Okay, Miguel, Miguel Antonio. Okay. Formulate a question. You're going to ask Lucy. Is Lucy here? Okay. Lucy? Uh, where, where are your, your money? Where is your money, right? Where is your money? Ah, where is your money? That's good. Is Lucy here? Is Lucy por acá? It is uh -huh. in the handbag. In the handbag, yeah, very good. Okay, let's continue now. Let's see. Jensi, you formulate the question to Sandra Marisol. Where is? This? Um, where is? Come on. You can ask yeah. where is or where are. It can be singular or plural. Um, oh. where is where are. Where are? Where are? Uh, is the book. Ah, okay. Is plural or singular? Plural. Plural, Books. okay. So what do you use? Is or are? Are. are. Always that is plural, are, correct. Okay, formulate again, please. Formulate de nuevo. Where? We, we are. Where? Where are? We, we are in the books. The books. Where are the books? We are. The books. The books. The books. All right, Sandra? Are they in there, the back there. Are there. there in the back part? Aha, that's good. Remember that there, as we formulate the question, or a plural, plural, plural case. So we need to use that form. If you formulate the question, where is the money? It's a singular manner. You use it's, you can say contraction, right? It's correct to use it. It's in the wallet. But if you have plural case, then the question is where are? Where are? And let's suppose that you use possessive. Supongamos que utilizamos possessive. Your books. Where are your books? So what is the correct form of the answer? It's or there? They. That's correct. There. We can use contraction. There. What else? That would be complement. Carlos? Carlos Arturo? On the table. On the table, very good. They're on the table. And we're given the answer. So it depends on the, if it's singular or it's plural, right? If you talk um, or express something about one thing, or it can be one element or two elements or even more. Okay, now let's check here. Let's see another case. We have a, to remember about prepositions of place. Ya utilizamos una de las preposiciones del lugar. Vamos a ver otra. Ay, no, no, no. And we have the case of prepositions of place. 
we know that we have different manners to express the area of something or something, right? This is para expresar la ubicación de algo o de alguien. So we have prepositions of place. We have in front of, enfrente de, behind, atrás, above, above es en la parte de arriba, pero no justo sobre de. Si vemos aquí el gatito, está haciendo como un... Mm, está flotando. Es como cuando ponemos un reloj y decimos, ah, está arriba de la cama. We say above, pero no, no está sobre, él no está encima de la cama. Entonces, above. Under, what is under? Bajo de. Debajo de, correcto. Sobre de. Sobre, excelente. Between? En Entre. medio de. Entre, en medio de, correct. In? Dentro. De. Dentro de. Ajá, dentro de, good. Near? Un lado. A un lado. A la derecha. O, o cerca, ¿verdad? Cerca, no, no. cerca también. Cerca, cerca. Sí, cerca, cerca. Beside, de hecho se ve junto a, ah, right? Uh -huh. También puede ser cerca. In this case, beside, a la par, a la par, a la par de. Junto a, y este también se puede utilizar como next to. It's like here. This is another case. Another example. They are close. Ajá, uh -huh. for example, here you have the dogs are behind the postman. What is a postman? She does. Cartero, right? Ajá, uh -huh. so the dogs are behind the postman. Behind. What is behind? Atrás de, right? Por detrás. Uh -huh. In front of. In front of the man. Lo de allá. Jessica, Jessica, can you please read this one about behind? Espérate. Read examples. The dogs. ¿A dónde me está señalando? Espérame. Ah. Jessica, Vanessa. Behind. Vanessa. Uh -huh. The dogs. Vanessa. Wow. <laughs> Jessica, the dogs are behind the postman. Thank you. Very good. Brenda Quintanilla. In front of. The dog in the, the dog front. is in front. In front of the man. Of the man. That's good. Veronica, next to or beside. The dog is next to the bones. Next to the bones. Good. The dog? The dog is beside the bones. Excellent, that's good. So when you say next to or beside, siempre significa junto a, a la parte. Next to or besides. The next one, between. Sandra Marisol, continue, please. The bones is between the two dogs. That's good. Continue, Jensi. Jensi, Alexandra. She dog is near she the wood. The dog is near the book. Near the book. You can say near or close to. Punto a, cerca de. Near the book. Near, cerca de, cerca del libro. Correct. Or the dog is close to the book. Now, the next one, Miguel Antonio. The blue, blue dog the, the blue, the blue dog yes. is about Hydra. the fire hydrant. Hydra. 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 That's good. Mm -hmm. right. Or oh, the blue blues. dog the is over blue. the fire yeah. hydrant. Hydrant. Very Hydra. good. Nice. Hydra. Marvin, continue. Below or under? She fry. She fry. It's below. Marvin, are you there? Barbie Manuel? Yes. No? Carlos, continue, please. The fire? The fire hydrant. The fire hydrant is below the blue dog. That's good. Or? 
the fire hydrant is under the blue dog. That's correct. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with Kevin. Kevin with in. She da. He did da. The dog. He did in. She. David, where is? Kevin? Se escucha, Kevin? Yo no veo. Sí. Is, is in the bed. Is in the bed. Mm -hmm. There is. The dog, the dog is in the bed. That's correct. There is. There is. There is. There is. The murder. Goman. Has that. In his mouth. In his um, mouth. All right, good. Okay, the next one. Let's see. Jessica Franco. On. The dog is on the table. 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 The woman has dog saliva. Saliva. Saliva on her. On her, yes. Saliva. That's good. Saliva. Saliva. Okay. We're going to take time to take the list, guys. We're going to have the attendance. Let's check here. I'm going to say your name, so you help me, please. Alicia Maribel? Present? Alicia? No? Angelica Maria? Present. 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 Thank you. Brenda Marcela. Present. Thank you. Carlos Arturo. Present. Thank you. Jessica Franco. Present. Great. Joaquin Jesus. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio. Juan Antonio. No. Catherine Rebecca. Catherine Rebecca. Present. Thank you. Kevin Orlando. A mí solo no me gusta para recibir clases. Present teacher. Loida. Loida Citali. Loida, no. Luis Antonio. Luis Antonio? No? Present? Present. Okay, thank you. Luz Margel? Present. Thank you. Maria Inés? Present. Thank you. Marvin Manuel? Present. Thanks. Miguel? Miguel Antonio? Present. Thank you. Oscar Esaú. Oscar Esaú. No. Reina Isabel. Reina Isabel. René Alonso. René. No. Sandra Marisol. Present. Thank you. Veronica Maricela. Present. Thank you. Jancy Yamilet. Jancy. Present. Yamilet. Thank you. Jancy Alexandra. Present. Thank you. Jessica Esmeralda. Present. Thank you very much. And Jessica Vanessa. Present. Thank you so much. Okay, then let's continue here. We'll continue with our prepositions of place. Do you have questions? Preguntas? Alguna pregunta? Este, yo le quería preguntar algo. Yes, tell me, Reyes. 
este, en la mañana, no sé si en la buena mañana, en la tarde, que mandaron un mensaje sobre una actividad que habían subido a la plataforma. ¿En qué parte está? En la plataforma. Mm, bueno, me dio un mensaje. Ya estaba en el trabajo cuando cayó el mensaje y medio lo vi y quise entrar y dijeron que habían sido una actividad. O no sé si serán las mismas, estaba hablando de las mismas que ya están ahí. Eh, son las mismas. Las de la plataforma ya están ahí los ejercicios. Los que ah, yo ya. les mando son al WhatsApp, los links que pueden ser como de, de más refuerzo, ¿verdad? Lo que ustedes puedan Ajá. hacer. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno. Ya. Pero son los mismos. Okay, then let's see. Practice here. We saw different cases. We have about, well, we have some animals. This is an owl. This is an owl. A bull, right? An owl. Tell me, where is the owl? Luis Antonio, where is the owl? Hello? Luis, Luis Antonio, ¿se escucha? Jessica Franco? Hello. It is on the table. Ah, that's good, it is on the table. Very good, thank you, that's good. Angelica Rodriguez. Where is the girl? ¿A dónde está la chica? Where is the girl? Angélica. Hola, no la escucho bien. Hello. Where is the girl? ¿A dónde está la, la chica? Where is the girl? All right, Carlos, Carlos Arturo, where is the girl? The girl is under the table. Under the table, that's correct, good one. Sandra Marisol, where is the cat? Cat is in the cat? In the bag. In the bag, yeah, good. The cat is? In the bag. That's correct. Good one. Jensi, where is the bee? La abejita, where is the bee? Where it is, is the between, uh -huh. between the bottles. The bottles. That's correct. It is between the bottles. That's correct. Good one. Jessica Vanessa, where is the yarn? I'm going to write here. The yarn. Yarn. Yarn is this, is lana. Yarn. Okay. Yarn. Bowl. Yarn is lana, dijo. Uh -huh. Yarn bowl. Es una bola de estambre. Y eso es un tigre. This one is, no, it's a cat. Es que se ve como que es like a cat, right? Or a tiger. It's a cat tiger. It's a, yeah, it's a cat tiger, baby. But it's very small. Let's suppose that it's a baby tiger. The cat is, the cat close to the gerbil. Okay, that's good. It can be close to, it can be, and how do you say, junto a? Ajá, junto a Jarbot. Ajá. Porque so dije que también be... se podía, dijo que también se podía clo close to. Yeah, sure, you can use close okay. to, you can use near, and also next to. ¿Remember? Next to. Junto así a. como, sí, ahí apareció un ejercicio que así decía, next to. Ajá, correct. Next to or beside also, right? That's another possibility. Okay. Thank you. Good one. Brenda, Brenda Quintanilla. Now tell me, where is the mouse? Where is the, the mouse? The mouse. Uh -huh. El ratón. Where is the mouse? Where is the mouse? Uh, no. ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde está? Mouse. 
¿Qué atrás. ubicación tiene? Ajá. How do you say atrás in English? Back. It can be in the back, but also can be. Look. Behind. 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 Right. Uh -huh. So where is the mouse? Mouse. Behind. You can say it's. It is behind no. on the box. Behind the box. Behind the box. Yes, that is correct. Good one. Okay. What about if you talk about the box? Luis Antonio, where is the box? Yeah, uh, uh -huh, good. In English, how do you say that? On the apple. Uh -huh, it's behind behind the apple, right? Behind the apple. It's behind the apple, that's correct. Okay. Now we have here. <laughs> Remember to listen to this. Yes. Let's check if we can listen to it. You have the exercise. Okay, let's listen to this one. Help me with the microphone, please. Si me ayudan con los micrófonos, por favor, para desactivarlo, para que se escuche bien. Let's start by looking at the images on the screen. The Im Can you hear it? ¿Se oye bien? Yes. Yeah. Just illustrate the okay. preposition and its meaning. Let's start with the preposition in. We will start with the example. The question is, where are the keys? The keys are in the box. The next one. Where are the keys? The keys are in front of the box. Where are the keys? We can see the keys are behind the box. The keys are behind the box. Where are the keys? The keys are on the box. The keys are on the box. Where are the keys? The keys are next to the box. The keys are next to the box. Where are the keys? The keys are under the box. Now is your turn to make some examples. Look at the images on the screen and practice making the questions and answers, just like we did a minute ago. Then I would like for you to share your work in our discussion forums. There we have about prepositions. Can you hear? Escucha? Yes. 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 Okay, good. Now, this one was about prepositions. Then remember you have another exercise here, right? Ese sería el, el próximo ejercicio en la plataforma. So, any questions with prepositions? Una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Este, sobre los ejercicios. Yes, este, tell me. Tenemos que llegar hasta cuál para entregarles ahora, más tarde en la noche, creo que pusieron en el grupo. ¿Hasta cuál exactamente sí. sería? Sería hasta el 2.10, yes. porque este es el ejercicio. Ah, este es el ah ejercicio. bueno. Ajá. Yo afligida que no he terminado los demás. No, 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 recuerden que ustedes pueden ir al, al compás pero traten de eh, no atrasarse. 
Any other question? So this Creo is que era sección 1 y sección 2, ¿verdad? Ajá. Mañana okay. todavía nos vamos a ver otros temas. Así que todavía Exacto. vamos a dejar pendiente eso. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Y pues les enviaré también otro ejercicio por medio de WhatsApp para que sea más esfuerzo. Para, right. para reforzar. Dice. Para reforzar. ¿Han ido haciendo los ejercicios? Yes. This, you have done it. Okay, so that's a good practice then. All right, guys. Then we are going to continue tomorrow, tomorrow night. Have a very good night. Sweet dreams. Have sweet dreams. Este. Yes. Yes. Es que haya yes. visto, bueno, no sé si vi mal que el horario decía de lunes a jueves o no sé si completo de lunes a viernes. Es a viernes, de lunes a viernes. Ah, okay, okay. Uh -huh. Sí, porque hay grupos que sí tienen de lunes a jueves. Ajá, por eso, por eso quería asegurarme porque vi que había. Ajá, hay grupos así. ¿no? Okay. En este caso es de lunes a viernes. From Monday to Friday. Friday the class. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys. Have a very good night. Good night. See you, See you tomorrow. Good good night. Night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Night. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care.